What's going on, man? Yo, yo, yo. What's good? Chilling, man. How you doing? Good. Hanging in there. How are you? I'm pretty good, man. It's uh, I'm I'm on the West Coast right now, so it's like a nice 70 degrees. You know, it's nice little weather. Nice, man. I'm in yeah. the East Coast. It's super rainy. Oh yeah, I've heard. Yeah, I got I got some family yeah. back in the East Coast, so they're like telling me that they've been inside all day. But thank you sure. so much, bro, uh, for joining yeah, man, appreciate me. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Of course. I don't know how I really discovered progression, but when I did, I like I kind of love stuff that's like revolved around like yeah. personal development and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious to know, because you emailed me a little bit about uh, how you started, like obviously started over quarantine and everything. Mm -hmm. But tell me a little bit more about like the story behind progression and what really inspired you to start it. Cool. Um, yeah, so pretty much, um, so like I said, during quarantine, I started it um, just trying to make the best of things because, you know, I mean, obviously COVID is not the best situation right now. <laughs> so, uh I definitely try to make the best of things, um, but I I always wanted to start something since um, like sophomore, junior year, of high school. Um, I actually had a, a different brand, like I'm gonna say that lately. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's called Icon. My a couple of close homies, we made like custom shirts with like bleach and like letters and stuff. My friend CJ has a shirt, um, but that kind of just developed into um, progression. Um, so uh, progression, honestly, I just love um always getting better in life always you know moving one step ahead always trying to get be the best you can um yeah. so that's pretty much just what progression is all about you know that's dope now how did you really like where did that mindset come from like when you're just like because like i'm kind of the same way you know i'm always mm -hmm. trying to be the better person that i am yesterday is mm -hmm. that something you developed over time or is that something that like you really um, always had i think developed over time to a certain extent but I think it's always been you know in the back of my mind always yeah. trying to just be the best like best I possibly can um but definitely this having like progression as a way to like creatively express my feelings I think mm -hmm. it's like perfect creative outlet for me like I, yeah. I truly think it's like super helpful and just trying to be like super positive with everyone um so I definitely I definitely think it's always been somewhere in the back of my mind but it's definitely like really set to in stone like yeah. Now I saw like I was scrolling through your Instagram like ten minutes before mm -hmm. this, and like I I really like your um style and like you've been into fashion for a while, bro. Mm -hmm. And like I kind of I got into fashion like probably like two or three years ago, and it was a big mm -hmm. way for me to like express myself. So I like I'm curious to know like how like when did you become interested in fashion and how was that a thing for you? Yeah. Um. A hundred percent. I agree. It's definitely like the perfect way to express yourself. Yeah. Um, I have to say maybe, maybe <laughs> junior year, even junior year, I had some questionable outfits in high school for sure. Yeah. I know y'all no, had I those outfits, like, I got you. I know y'all had those outfits, like, <laughs> why did I even put that on? That's mostly, even of the senior year, like, I actually won a 2018 uh, best dress. I do not know how I won hey, that. I, see I, had you. Some, I had some very questionable <laughs> outfits, but, um. Uh, yeah, I think like senior year and definitely coming out um, after graduation. So 2018, end of the year, probably, I say when I was like super into fashion, I finally got like a job where I could um, afford like comfortably like some more designers. Um, but yeah, probably like 2018, so like two years ago. Yeah. yeah. How has that really been a thing for you to express yourself in? Like, because I know um, a lot of people... Um, like I was, I like I was kind of a uh, little shy and in my comfort zone. But really, fashion allows you to step out yeah. of that comfort zone. So, really, how has that been able to express yourself? So, I feel like if you're nervous to wear something, it's gonna like kind of you could kind of see it in like the way you carry yourself. Yeah. And I feel like with clothes, sometimes you just have to be able to step out of your or, um your comfort zone. And it, it truly is like a way that you could express yourself. So if you're feeling, you know, happy one day or outgoing the one day, you could put, you know, some extravagant outfit on and you could kind of be like, this is how I'm feeling today. This is my clothing. This is my outfit today. And then same for, you know, like a rainy day right now, I'm in the girl outfit. No, <laughs> it's, it's just one of those days. So I'm, I'm in all quest right now. So I feel like it, it kind of reflects the mood you're in. Yeah. And at least for me, at least. No, yeah, I got that. But like a lot of, especially with a clothing brand because like i started uh, like with clothes with color house a while back and so much of great... 
I like that. I appreciate it, bro. But so much creativity like does come out of like boredom or Mm -hmm. like trying to like not limit yourself and you try to work with what you have. And since we're all like reflecting during this time, what have you learned like over the last few months that you feel is really gonna influence the like next step of progression? Um I have to say probably just going out and doing it because I was like I said I even junior year high school when I wanted to do like the the clothing brand I guess Mm -hmm. um the only thing that was stopping me really was just not doing it like quarantine has really taught me like if you want something to be done you just have to do it like you just have to put your really that simple (laughs) doors will literally open like it's it's really crazy and I'm super thankful for like all my supporters and everything but I, I really feel like if you want to do something just go out there and do it like yeah i'm sure you won't regret it yeah i love that now with um i know it can be stressful when you're like because a clothing brand really relies heavily on like your way of being able to see things differently because mm-hmm. you start with a certain aesthetic and then you kind of run out of ideas to like take it to different mm-hmm. avenues so to speak so how have you found creative ways or like what's your method to trying to see things differently and trying to uh, create different pieces or different designs for progression um so I definitely I definitely get it like you have like a couple like you make a couple good designs and then it's like wow what am I gonna do next it's (laughs) it's definitely like hard even with like any any art form you get like that creative block and um just recently I'm like I really need to make something else so I feel like um, a lot of times just going on other Instagrams, seeing other creatives, like even yourself, like seeing um, what you have to offer, um, a whole bunch of different um, local designs, local brands. Um, but I think really it's just sometimes you get that creative block and then I, I'm not sure what sparks it, but sometimes you just get that like spark in you and um, it just opens, I guess, like a creative little like patch. And then I feel like that's when I really like shine. Like I, I could bust out like two, three designs in one night. <laughs> yeah. And I don't, I don't, I can't really answer the question a hundred percent because it's just like, sometimes I'm just like sitting in bed. I'm like, I think I can make a cool design right now. And I go <laughs> on and then I get like three, four cool designs. But other times I just like, I don't have it in me, but yeah. I, I, I feel like most of the time it's just seeing other people's um, creative designs. Um, I, I'm not, I, I don't know the answer to that really, to be honest. <laughs> I, just get like, I just get like super creative patches sometimes. And then that's when I do most of my work and it yeah. could be just like one or two days. Mm-hmm. Now, when you, when you come up with a design though, like this always happens to me, especially mm-hmm. like you have it done and like, do like you like get it done in like an hour or so, but then you always have that thought in the back of your mind, like, wait, is always. there something, is there something always. else I could change? Is there something else always. I could you know? And so how do you, like, how do you battle that? Cause I know it's it's such an issue for me, especially Mm -hmm. like that voice in your head, but like, is it that good though? Like you have to change something. How do you, like, how how do you overcome that? Um, so I, I'm a hundred percent with you. Like, (laughs) I'm always like, wow, this is actually like amazing. When I finish, I'm like, yo, this is the best design I ever made. (laughs) And then I, I'm, I like go to the bathroom, get a drink, get a snack. And I come back, I'm like, this is like really not the best that it could be. But I feel like that's just, in our minds as creatives, I feel like it's always going to be there. You just have to get through it. Maybe a lot of times I just ask my friends, like my close friends, I'm like, what do you think about this? Is there anything that could be changed um, that could be better or just give me your honest opinion. And a lot of times they will say like, I really like this, or maybe you could do this, um, tweak this. And then I think it will be perfect. And a a lot of times that's all I need really. Yeah. But like I've I've, I've uh, realized a big issue with that is because like a lot of the silhouettes of a brand are like mm-hmm. true to like the designer like you for example yeah. and like so when like when you design it like you like it so mm-hmm. do you ever struggle with hearing all these opinions from people like yo do this mm-hmm. yo do that yeah. how do you deal with that? Um, sometimes I know a lot of times people like try to hit me up or like yo you should do this. And then I'm like, that's a good idea, but what if we do this? And like, we kind of go back and forth a little bit. Um, we just throw out ideas around. I have my one friend um, send me a design last night, actually. Um, and I, I liked it a lot. Um, but I think sometimes just having a, you know, one-on-one conversation, um, throwing some different ideas out there is really all it takes. 
and I think just communication is really, you know, a big part of that. Oh yeah, for sure. But um, like an outlet, like for example, like music relies mm-hmm. heavily on like life experiences and like your own emotions. And like when I'm designing, sometimes I try to incorporate something that's really true to myself mm-hmm. and like will always please me when I come to look at it. Do you ever try mm-hmm. to relate to those things when you're coming up with designs or trying uh-huh. to channel inner experiences you've had? Yeah. So with the actually the butterfly, it's crazy. Like you know, like the butterfly effect, whatever. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. I feel like butterflies it sounds like mad corny i'm gonna be honest nah, with you. Bro, say it. You're um, good. <laughs> but like i feel like i've always had like butterflies in the back of my mind for some reason like i went um i was super young i had it was like my favorite all-time picture of myself i went to this butterfly exhibit uh-huh. and um i think it's new york it was either new york or philly for like a class trip and it, like landed right on my shoulder my mom snapped the picture and i was like my all-time favorite picture of like i was like yo this That's is crazy super dope. and then um i recently Oh, not recently, kind of like a year and a half, two years ago, I got my, um, I started my sleeve uh-huh. and um, it had a butterfly on it. And it, it wasn't like something I was like, oh, I need a butterfly. It was just like, I like the design. The artist is super dope. And so he cooked up something for me. Um, he pretty much just drew it on my arm. And then um, there's a whole bunch of like butterfly silhouettes in it. And I love that. And then um, I, I don't know, I think just one day during quarantine, I was like, I feel like a butterfly on a shirt would be cool. Yeah. With like this simple progression on it, like the the old English style. Mm-hmm. So I don't I feel like that that's um an experience. Um does the butterfly have like a like a specific meaning to you specifically? Yeah, so it's it's pretty much just like with the progression, like okay. always getting better, like the steps in life developing, you know how it's like cocoon. I don't know the exact steps, but <laughs> but um, you know. It's not biology it class. Bro. Smart. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But when um like it's hard for example when you're trying to always like come up with these different designs and like when you first start off and like especially now like you said you've done the butterfly and now you have so many different kind of unique elements to your brand Mm -hmm. but what's the biggest thing you think you've evolved with when you first released that first sure progression until till now um i feel like the biggest thing i took away from the first release was like, like I said before, like just going out and doing it. I truly took away from that first release. Like people actually like will support you if they like what you're doing. And I was like super blown away. Like it it literally sold, I did keep in mind. I didn't have a lot of shirts the first release, maybe five or six in each size and each color, but it's, it's still like, it was mind blowing to me. Like people will really support you if they like what you're doing and the message behind it. And it, it sold out within, I think two days, not even. Wow. So I feel like if you really have a good message and like you're coming from the right place, I feel like people will always have your back and yeah. at the end of the day. Yeah. Have you seen like a difference in your design making though? When like since you've started or like like the certain elements of your brand? Are you incorporating more things now? What's it like mm-hmm. for you that it's different when in the beginning of it? Um, so first like the first logo is pretty simple. Um yeah. Right now I got a couple in the works. I'm trying to I love to do the hats more. by um, the way. Sorry to interrupt you. Bro. Yeah, no, it's all good. I need a hat. <laughs> it's all good. I got one right here. Oh, uh, I, I need that green, man. I need the green progression of the smiley face. I love the smiley face, bro. I got you, man. I'll send one over. I but appreciate um it. Yeah, the first design was definitely super simple. I feel like that's like my brand's like basic logo. I feel like some people have like or some brands have essential um just like their original logos, whatever. Yeah. But then um, I'm trying to do more, I, I always like simple, but I feel like even if it's like a print on the front, print on the back, or even on the hood or something. So I'm trying to do more um, 2021, I'm trying to do more um, intricate designs, like maybe incorporating a print on the front mm-hmm. um, and the back. And then maybe maybe the hood, I'm just not sure if my uh, printer could do it on the hood, but um, definitely 2021, I'm trying to get some 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 super nice prints on it yeah i like that no it's like it's hard to balance whether you're not you go with like a simple design or like mm-hmm. a complex one especially with production mm-hmm. and that's something i want to get to actually because i think a certain stigma around starting a clothing brand is because mm-hmm. a lot goes into it especially when you're doing it on your own like ourselves and mm-hmm. a big part of it really is the production aspect and I think a lot of listeners would be curious to know, like, what's, what's the production stage like for you and how, like, those stressful times of a clothing mm-hmm. brand, 
how are you able to like balance that? And what's like really that whole stage of a clothing brand like that for you? Um, so it's, it's actually like, I have a, um, a local printer. He's super helpful. He's one of my um, best, best friends, um, fathers actually. So he helps out a hundred percent. Like if, if it wasn't for him, progression would not be a thing. I can guarantee shout that. Shout out to him. Um, shout out to him. Um, <laughs> shout out George. I love shout you, George. Out George. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, so production with the, um, with shirts, I either, for most of the time with shirts, 99% of the time, I have a whole bunch of shirts come in, a whole bunch of blanks. Mm-hmm. Um, I give them to him a couple of days, turn around, he gives them to me. And then I release it on the, um, to the website. And that, that does relieve a lot of stress, like having them in hand, um, being able to ship like the next day, next two days. Um, but recently with the hoodies, um, I've been doing, I didn't like, I don't know what colors people want. I wanted to be able to have a whole bunch of selections of colors, um, and different designs. So with that, actually, um, anytime somebody orders it, I buy it, um, within like a week or two, just so it's, you know, a little, like a bulk quantity. Mm-hmm. And then I ship it to George, George gets it to me and then I just ship it out. And that way it's a little bit more stressful because I don't like ha- having customers wait. Um, but it does relieve like a little bit of, um, the money burden on myself as yeah. a you know, small business. Oh yeah, for sure. What's the biggest challenge though, that you've had thus far running and clothing brand by yourself? Cause obviously that's a lot for just mm-hmm. one person. So what's the yeah, big, most difficult sure. thing you've had to overcome um probably just time management because i'm you know i'm in philly a lot and uh just i I would say probably just yeah philly philly (laughs) but um definitely probably just the time management trying to get every order out um quickly trying to have um my you know customers ordering within i i like to do if it's like a shirt and like i have it in hand i like to get it out the day of or the next day and then hoodies, I say um, one to two weeks shipping, but I, I usually don't like to do two weeks. I just put that like for a barrier if something goes wrong, which it, it usually doesn't. But um, definitely time management is the biggest thing. Got you. What's the most, like in general, what do you think is the most difficult thing for just running a clothing brand to do besides like managing your time? Because a lot goes into it, like designing, then you have the production mm-hmm. stage, then you have the shipping stage. What do you think is the most difficult thing for you um probably just balancing all of those together really like i know i know it's not like a certain answer but oh you're good bro um probably running like the instagram making sure i get back to people's orders on time making sure the shirts get printed in time um and probably actually the biggest thing is just making I don't even know. I would, I would say probably just making sure that you're, um, I have it on my mind. I'm trying to think. <laughs> Take your time, it. bro. We got, we here all day. I say probably just like putting enough, yeah, putting enough stuff out for people to not get bored pretty okay. much. Gotcha. That's the biggest thing I feel like. Yeah. Do you have us, like, I would love a specific lesson or advice to those looking to start a clothing brand what's one thing you would tell them that you could tell yourself in the beginning um do not be scared like people like i said before if if you have a good message behind your brand and you have a nice simple clean logo i wouldn't go something crazy at first at least for me personally i wouldn't but if you have like a great message and a positive mindset with it you could literally do anything 100%. 100%. That's with anything in life, too. That's just not with just a clothing brand, even. That's dope. Yeah, never be scared, bro. But you do you do believe it. in, um, because like when you're starting off with a clothing brand, you obviously believe in like maintaining a certain mm-hmm. aesthetic for the brand. Yeah. Do, do, are you always, do you believe in that? Or are you always aiming to kind of reach, uh, like go across your limits and provide kind of different pieces and different designs? So, um, me personally, I have, like, I don't have a problem with like, changing it up or doing a different thing that's not really really with my aesthetic Mm -hmm. but it's mostly like I would if I'm going to do that though I would I would probably reach out to first my my Instagram story I would post something like what do you guys think about this should I do this that's with the hats too even Um, I wasn't sure with the hats that was actually a mistake like my mama my mom ordered a whole bunch of hats by accident to my house (laughs) 
she uh she loves she loves my brand she's like my biggest supporter yo so. my mom too bro yeah, shout, shout out to my mom shout out the moms but uh <laughs> yeah she she ordered a whole bunch of hats by accident and i was like mom why did you order like this many hats and she's like oh my god honey i'm so sorry i was like man i'm gonna just make the best of it so i i posted something on my story i was like what do you guys think hats should i print on them should i just like that's it is it a no-go uh-huh. And then it was like outstanding. Everybody was like, yes, 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 print this. So that's that's how the hat started. So pretty much anytime I have like a doubt in my mind, I go, I either post about it or just ask some of my close friends. And yeah. that usually helps me a lot. That's crazy, man. The hats are probably my favorite piece, honestly. A I lot of people are all talking about. That's crazy. A lot of bro. people like that. But are there any um like clothing brands or like streetwear specifics? that like inspire you or like you get influence from specifically? Yeah, hundred percent. Um, so obviously with, with these hats, it's Chrome Hearts. Like I'm yeah. not, I'm not here. That's I'm not tough. out here claiming that's my logo. That's not my <laughs> logo, but, um, definitely, um, Chrome. I like Chrome Hearts for that hat. Um, Chinatown market. I love like all their designs. That's like, tough. That's they're, tough. they're super nice. And then recently I found out, um, Cherry LA, they're a super dope brand, super, super dope. And okay. um, I love how simple and like clean their crew necks are and pretty much all their merch. They got a whole bunch of cool sunglasses. They got bandanas. They got, you name it, they got it. So I, I definitely love Cherry LA. They're super, super dope. Now, how how is your like sense of style, you specifically, and like you into fashion and streetwear, how has it evolved since you started progression? Are you always looking to like for specific pieces now like what's your like what's your aesthetic that you go for personally um so right now i i mean in the past i definitely was a hype beast like i don't (laughs) i mean i'm not not super happy about that everyone everyone got those hype beast moments and then yeah so everyone got uh, that stage for sure and um so i used to be more into like the high-end brands and stuff but it's it's definitely not about that it's definitely about your style and how you put clothing together but recently it's just been a whole bunch of like vintage. So um, I'm trying to incorporate more vintage, like vintage wash shirts into um, the brand. I actually got a, um, the supplier, he, I, I have to like go out and um, pretty much just like ask them if they could be your supplier or whatever. Mm-hmm. They get back to you in a couple of days and um, they, they like accept you or whatever. So you could buy in, uh, in bulk. So they have a whole bunch of like super, super nice, um, vintage wash hoodies crew necks Ooh, shirts so definitely tough. definitely some nice quality and um i definitely want to bring more vintage which is my like my style right now like vintage harley shirts gotcha um i definitely want to bring that into progression right now yeah no that's right. that's like following my like up to my next point because like a big thing in fashion now is sustainability or like mm-hmm. having a, a brand that's revolved around a specific message like that mm-hmm. or personal development so really, like, is that something for you that you're looking forward to in the future, kind of uh, involving sustainability into your brand? Yeah, 100 percent. Yeah. Um, so I, I would always, you know, like you, you're talking about like environmental factors. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So uh, on, on that point, like the um, the supplier, actually, I specifically liked him just for one, the clothes and two, I actually, um, And last year, last semester, I did a whole semester on sustainability, um, sustainable fashion. um, And I I like that the the new supplier, it's it's not fast fashion. So it's it's made to order with um, like quality brands, all 100 percent organic, um, no fast fashion methods, nothing like that. And um, they're environmentally like aware of the issues going on. And I I definitely that's like a main reason why I want to go with them. Yeah. Do you think do you think that like. Cause like that element of sustainability obviously has a huge impact on fashion and especially streetwear. Mm-hmm. Do you think that's going to like negatively impact streetwear or do you think it's going to kind of come up with a new trend, so to speak in the future? I think I, that's a good way to put it. I definitely think it will be like a new trend almost like okay. they'll definitely always have like the fast fashion, like H&M yeah. and Zara stuff like that. Um, they'll definitely always have that, um, you know, people following that. But I, I, I feel like in the future, there definitely will be um, a, a time and a place for like that specific um, eco-friendly um, clothing brands. Yeah. So, yeah, no. And like, like in addition to it. Oh, yeah, for sure. And like a big part of a brand, too, 
is like creating a specific culture and it's hard too because like when we're talking about like designs and everything for yourself like when when like i feel like a clothing company is more about you get it or you don't like you get the message mm -hmm. or you don't and yeah. do you believe that clothing is like especially your brand do you think it's more about creating a culture and a specific community rather than just like ordinary shirts and designs for people to wear yeah for sure i i feel like a lot of times me personally if there's like a, a great message or a good message behind it and it's not just like oh here's the shirt i will 99 percent of the time i'll get that over just like a normal shirt so mm -hmm. i definitely think it's super important to have like a nice message behind whether it be like a logo or a, like the whole brand and, and as one but yeah. um i definitely think it's super important yeah and a big thing too with clothing brands now that i'm seeing recently and uh, you can talk more about it if you know about it but mm -hmm. i'm seeing a lot more like collaborations in the industry and especially throughout streetwear is that something that intrigues you in the future to possibly like collaborate with other clothing brands with progression or other kind of uh cultures that represent the same type of message that your brand has um yeah for sure my my uh my one of my closest friends ja he has a um he has a brand motivational collection okay so it's, it's the same thing like motivational purposes only which is pretty much on his shirt motivational purposes only i like that um it's it's super it's super in line with what i'm trying to do and I, it's only positive things um nothing negative so i i definitely in the future want to have a um collaboration with him or any other brands that have positive messages you know you could reach out to me but i would it would hey, be bro, a, we gotta I'm, do something man facts i'm definitely with it absolutely I'm definitely with it in the future i would 100 percent do a collab with you you know any brand really if they have a positive message they got some dope you know designs i'll i'll do it i'll do it yeah 100%. and no it's like it's rare to have a brand too because like I feel like it's more common now to have brands mm -hmm. that are like represented with that real like changing message. But like, I feel like, um, the, like the movement that you have, well, soon to be movement, you can mm -hmm. do a lot more than clothing. I sort of feel like, do you have any mm -hmm. other plans of branching progression into more of a community rather than just the clothing? Um, yeah. So I actually have, um, I have some plans over, I'm not sure Thanksgiving this year. Um, but definitely during like the colder, um, the colder days, I, mm, I, I think, yeah, like Thanksgiving, I want to do, um, I want to do like a hoodie drive for, um, for like the homeless in I Philadelphia, because like it really breaks my heart, like seeing them just like it's out sad, there all the bro. time, I, it, 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 it's crazy, like those people are out there and they don't have like coats or anything, so I want to be able to have, um, like, I don't know, I'm still thinking about it, that's, that's, yeah. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, yeah. I definitely want to do like a solid batch of hoodies and just give them go out and give them to the the homeless. But I also want to have um, somewhere on the website where I could um, have if someone wants to like donate to it, it will go 100% of the um, proceeds will go to that. So it's not just like a one time thing. If if someone wants to do it, I'll I'll get the hoodie 100% of the um, proceeds will go to it. But um, yeah, it just it just breaks my heart seeing those people all the time because I'm in Philly almost every day. Yeah, so. it's sad, man. It's crazy yeah. how many there are too. I know it's 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 crazy. They go to like City Hall and like it's just it's sad, man. Last time I was up there, it's just it makes you feel some type of way. And I'm always yeah. I'm always into giving back too. So like if you yeah. were at like that hoodie drive, it would be that something definitely that yeah. I would love to be a part of. But hundred percent. When it comes to progression, though, like obviously you talk about how you want people to better themselves and everything. Mm -hmm. What do you think you have progressed mostly since, and especially in life since you started this? Hmm. See, I, I got you. I got to I, I gotta uh, ask the man of progression. I got to think about that a little bit. <laughs> I feel like something that I progressed in life would be... I've, I feel like I've been more. Damn, the that's suspense. A good question. The suspense. That's a good question. <laughs> I feel like it's easier for me to be, like, going out there and be like, "Hey, I got this clothing brand. Mm -hmm. um, would you be interested in um, hosting it in your store or something?" I actually just went came back from the, the Cherry Hill Mall right now, and uh, I got a fat no. It's all good though. <laughs> I mean. Everybody gets knows once in a while. It's that one yes that matters. Yes, but, sir. Um, it was like this hype store. I, I forget what it's called. But um, 
but it, definitely in the past i would not be able to do that I, like going into a store and be like hey i have a local brand it's it's a small business still this is my this is these are my garments would you be interested in hosting in your, in your store i would never be able to do that and i feel like since progression i've been able to reach out to more bigger businesses and more um more pretty much just more people mm. um in that aspect so i think it's it's helped me grow you're not and, afraid uh, of rejection yeah i'm not afraid of rejection anymore i feel like yeah yeah that's really important too especially because i mean you're gonna like you're gonna get so many no's but you're gonna get so many yeses yeah that's, that's really it's only that matter. one it's that one yes that matters and that's exactly. why I, I don't take it to heart anymore i, I understand like they got a business to run so i'm not you know i'm not gonna be yeah, like yeah. you like yeah you got you really gotta have tough skin when you have a clothing brand especially yeah. like a startup too yeah 100 mm-hmm. percent. has has fashion really taught you anything about life in general since you've really started to express yourself with it um i'm not sure if there's like a specific thing it's it's taught me but it definitely is um it's definitely a great way for people like I said before, to just, if you're having a good day, you want to go out there and, and be bold. It's, it's super easy way to just go out there and, um, express yourself pretty much. Yeah. I love that. Now we're towards the end of the interview. I typically finish with these two questions that I tend to ask everyone that I I have on this show. And the, the first question is what is one creative tip you could give to any creator in any field. It can be music, photography, a field like fashion design. What's one thing you would, what's one piece of advice you would give someone? Um, I would say if you want to create something, it's not going to be as easy to create something if you're in an environment that you're not comfortable in. I'm always, I like that. I have the vibes in my room when I'm trying to create something, I'll have the nice, the nice lace on, maybe a candle. But um, definitely a nice environment around. Love this it, it, it usually helps a little bit. Yeah. No, I love. I've never really gotten that answer before. I really like that. Your your environment really mm-hmm. shapes who you are. So that's mm-hmm. a very important piece of advice. But one last question. It tends to stump people, but I think I think you provide something very extraordinary. What's your definition of creativity? I feel like creativity is any way that one can express their artistic abilities, whether it be um, painting, drawing, clothing brand, um, photography, pretty much anything that they can express themselves in. Dope. You were quick to that, man. Usually people take a while for that one. I tried. I had had some slip ups before I had to be on my (laughs) game. I love it. No, thank you, man, though. But um, I just want to say thank you. I mean, ever since I discovered your brand, I've really been following it because I love to support things that really matter. Thank you. And yours, it. and yours really matters. And I feel like it can make a huge impact on especially the world we have now. But I'm all, I'm very excited to uh, talk more about like possibly uh, collaborating in the future. Yeah, man. for sure. Yeah, but uh, I just want to say thank you and definitely be in touch. And, and you better thank stay you. creative, bro. Thanks for having me. Of, of course. Oh, yeah, you too, bro. Thank you.